Hello and thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation of how to scan and build a trader's watch list for tomorrow. Now we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Usually I'll, I'll share with you a technique for trading. I'll show you some little method or an idea in which to, to find these high probability setup areas. Today's going to be a little bit different. We're going to already assume that you uh, are a member or uh, have at least taken one of our trials to our uh, courses. And we're going to show you how easy it is to know the night before where a setup is going to take place. For example, if we look at this chart here in BMA, we would have seen that really nothing much is happening. But using the scanning process, the simple step by step process I'm going to share with you today, you would have been able to find a setup actually just about a day in advance of the 11 point rise. It's that simple with our new PTS Primo charting platform and with our scanner involved. And I'm gonna show you how simple it is and then give you a great offer after today's presentation. So welcome once again, this promises to be a great Saturday morning presentation. My name is Stephen Primo. Thank you all for joining me this morning. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're new to my webinars, we are all about focusing on just educating you as a trader. It's my belief that the reason why most traders fail, and when I say fail, I don't mean that you're going to go into a slump or a drawdown. I mean actually fail where you give away all of your money that you've saved up for trading. The reason why most traders fail is because basically you're taking yourself out of the game. You're relying on someone or something else to tell you how to trade. In fact, the whole industry is based on that telling you, well, go to this chat room or trading room and we'll tell you what our ideas are or pay for the signal service and we'll just give you on a nightly basis what to buy and what to sell for the next day or watch this guy on TV and he'll tell you what to do for the next day or for the next week or so. The entire industry is based on that and we don't really believe in that. We feel that that's a recipe for a disaster. The reason why most traders fail is because they've taken themselves out of the game and relied on someone to do their trading for them. Well, at Specialist Trading, we do the opposite. We provide you and mentor you with all the education, all the sound tips and fundamental methods that have stood the test of time. And then we mentor you and then allow you to pick and choose the way you best see fit. Now, we have strategies. We have signals that are generated on a nightly basis. We do this for educational purposes, but ultimately, you're going to decide whether you want to take it. You're going to decide how you're going to enter. You'll decide where you exit. We do not teach nor do we trade systems, but we just give you high probability entry points and then show you all the variables for you to decide how you want to trade. OK, now I've been trading for 41 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years. Nine of those years I was a specialist, a specialist is someone who made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So if you wanted to buy or sell a particular equity, let's say IBM, you had to go to the trader who specialized in that. So that's what I did for nine years. I traded. I was on the floor during the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. So I've seen and traded just about everything you can think of. I've been in just about every market environment you can think of. So in my 40, 41 years almost of, of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're here to shorten your learning curve so you don't have to be trading 10, 20, 30 years in order to get consistent. Hopefully you'll be able to become a consistent trader within the few months after you've taken one of our courses. So this promises once again to be a great Saturday morning educational presentation. But as always, before any presentation, we are required by law to show you this. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results using our new uh, PTS Primo charting platform and sharing with you how to apply it. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. So once again, we're required to show you this by law as you're taking a brief moment to view our disclaimer. I would also like to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. If you haven't done so already, there's our handle there. You may want to copy that down. I post different information on a daily basis, anywhere from little bits of wisdom I've accumulated along the way to, to some of the signals our strategies have generated. But remember, these are just for educational purposes only. But feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, if you are new to my Saturday presentations, you're no, you'll know that, uh, you know, uh, we just are a little bit different from everyone else. And the fact that we're not here promoting the best $10,000 system, we're not here telling you to come to our chat room or trading room every night to find out what to do. We're a little bit different. Our only goal is to teach you how to trade. You notice it doesn't say here, my goal is to force feed you signals or my goal is to tell you what the perfect time frame is. I must get that question on a daily basis 
from prospective students who email me and say, Steve, uh, I, I love your strategies. I love your methods. Uh, what is the best time frame? Or what's the best market? And, and I always say the best one is the one that makes you feel comfortable because that's what we want to do. Put you in charge. You shouldn't be asking anyone or anything what to do. You should be in charge of your own trading. So that's what our goal is, to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. And when I was struggling 41 years ago, even when I was on the floor of the exchange and I had access to all this information and I knew what the institutions were doing and I had my book in front of me and knew where the buy and sell orders were, I struggled just like someone who had been trading for two weeks. I was uh, you know, having a couple of good trades in a row, then I'd give it all back on the next trade. So I was lucky enough to have some mentors myself. These were specialists who had been trading about 30 or 40 years each. And they taught me the very same things that I teach to all my students around the world in over 110 countries and in virtually every state in the United States. So hopefully they'll be able to turn your trading around the way they turn mine. And, and these things that I teach are the same things that I use on a daily basis and I feel that have sustained me for over four decades now. Okay. Now, since this is an educational presentation, we're going to conduct it like a classroom. So I want to take your questions, but I don't want to take all of your Saturday answering questions. So if you have a question, please wait till the very end of class in about the next half hour. Then we can stop for any questions. OK, if we stop every slide, we'll be here for three or four hours. That's not fair to you on your weekend. So please wait till the very end. The only question I will answer is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early, uh, don't worry. We will furnish you with a link to this recording. Now, many times if you have technical difficulties, a lot of times people say, I can't hear you correctly or I can't see the screen. Oftentimes it's your internet connection. So if you log off and then log back on again, you'll be able to see everything clearly. But if you're still having technical issues, we will send you a link to this recording, okay? So we have a, a pretty good crowd here on a Saturday morning. I really wanna thank you all for joining us. So once again, if you joined us late, wait till the very end to ask any questions. Okay, so let's begin. And we're going to start off by sharing with you how simple this process is on our new PTS charting platform. This is something I developed with ProTrader Strategies and it's specifically designed to teach traders how to trade. This is where we really shorten your learning curve. If you've been struggling, if you paid thousands and thousands of dollars for some master system or trading technique that doesn't work, I'm sure you've all been there. I was there 40 years ago. I was paying thousands of dollars for things that didn't work. Here's the educational portal you've been searching for. So everything I'm going to be sharing today with you today can be uh, applied on our new PTS Primo charting platform. Okay, so we're going to be talking about how to get tomorrow's trade signals a day in advance. This is something that you know everyone wants to know. You know a lot of people have scanners. A lot of different platforms have scanners, but they're very uh, co complicated the, the, some of the logic they use and how to get a chart and exactly what you're looking for I mean it takes a good half hour to figure out what your scan is I'm going to show you how simple it is by going through this process in order to get the trade signals a day in advance this involves a very very simple process with our new platform and let me show you how simple it is there's what you're going to be doing on a nightly basis all right let's take it step by step the first thing you want to do is obviously plot a chart. Now, it really doesn't matter what chart, but let's say you're interested in a chart or interested in a stock. And remember, we're going to focus on stocks, but this can be applied to currency pairs, uh, e-mini futures, Bitcoin. It makes no difference. But let's just plot, let's say, GWW, okay? Let's say you're interested in this. Maybe you heard some news. Maybe you heard your brother-in-law talking about it, and you punch this chart up, and you go, wow, it doesn't look like anything to me. It's kind of going sideways. It's in a range. Uh, you know, the things you study about it fundamentally don't make any sense. So, you, you know, I, I really don't care. But remember, at specialist trading, we don't focus on those things. The only thing we focus on is what the stock is telling us or what the market we're trading is telling us, because everything we need to know comes from that. It doesn't come from the earnings. It doesn't come from uh, the institutions. It doesn't come from volume. It comes from what the chart in front of you is telling us. Now, I know it's hard for a lot of you to grasp that. But trust me, when my mentors taught me this over four decades ago, I did the same thing and I couldn't you know, grasp it either. I finally let go of all that and I've stopped looking at news 40 years ago. I stopped looking at volume, at what the institutions were doing. I mean, you would think if someone who's making a market in 50 or 60 stocks, don't you think that they would have needed to know what the uh, earnings were going to be or what the fundamental news was around the world? If anyone needed to know that, it would be the person who's making a market, who's buying and selling that on a daily basis, hundreds or even thousands of times a day. 
But I stopped looking at that, and guess what? My trading got more consistent. So we don't concern ourselves with that. We concern ourselves with sound fundamental strategies that have stood the test of time that I continue to use on a daily basis. So the first thing you do is whatever chart you're interested in, whatever market, whatever time frame, punch it up. In this case, we're looking at GWW. All right, we've plotted the chart. Now we choose a strategy. So remember, we are an educational company. We teach you all of these strategies. We're not a signal service. We don't want and we don't encourage any of our members to simply click on the buy and sell indicators and just say, well, I trust Steve's stuff. I'm just going to buy wherever a green arrow is and sell wherever there's a red arrow. We don't believe in that. We want you to understand why you're buying, why you're selling. And we want you to understand where you're going to be getting in on your own. We have maybe five or six different entry points, five or six different exit points, and even more stop placement. You can choose whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. But the thing that matters is that you choose, not me, not someone in a chat room, not someone on TV, not some convoluted indicator, but you choose. OK, so choose a strategy. So on our platform, we have our upper green strategy tab, which lists all of our methods, all of our techniques, all of our strategies. Let's choose one, the very first one that I was taught over four decades ago that I continue to use on a daily basis, strategy number four. You've heard me talk about it in past webinars. It's probably our most consistent strategy. It can be applied to any market, any time frame. Now, we're not going to go into the inner workings of what makes up a strategy number four setup. I've talked about it in other webinars before, and in the future, I will probably talk about it again. But we're just going to share with you the scanning process. Let's say, and let's say for all intents and purposes, you are a course member of strategy four you understand what it's based off of you understand how to identify a setup on your own but you don't feel like looking through the entire s p 500 because it's going to take you hours and hours every night trust me that's the way i had to first look at strategy four i'd have to go through the entire list by hand plot the chart and then look and see if there was one okay going down to the next one i have 450 to go now okay i had to look through the entire uh, S&P 500, but you don't have to do that now. It's as simple as this. Once you click on the strategy number four tab, you'll see a drop down menu. OK, different choices, different categories of features. What we want to do is once we have that drop down menu, we click on scan because that's what we're going to be looking for. We're looking for strategy for uh, setups in whatever basket of stocks or whatever market we're looking at. All right. So we click on scan. And once we do that, we see our scanning page come up. This automatically appears. All right. So once we've got the scanning page, what we want to do is click on load symbols. Now we provide you with a list of symbols. These can be anywhere from top ETFs, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100. Uh, they can be uh, e-mini futures or f uh, currency pairs. It can even be Bitcoin. Makes no difference. You can choose. And in fact, you can make up your own list. If you like to see a particular basket of stocks that you like on a nightly basis, say 10 or 20 that you trade. Uh, exclusively well you can click on that and once you click that on in about I'd say less than five seconds after you click load symbols you'll see all of them appear all right so you've got your list of symbols now now once we've got the sim symbols loaded we click on scan because obviously that's what we want to do and everything is right here in front of you you click on scan and in about 20 seconds you'll see a series of either green horizontal bars or red horizontal bars on the far right. The green simply mean that there's a buy signal in that correlated stock to the far left. The red mean that there's a sell signal for the next day. Now, obviously, if you're looking at an hourly chart, well, for the next hour, there'll be a buy signal, uh, you know, on an hourly time frame. Or if you're looking at a weekly time frame for the close of this week going into the next week. All right, so we were looking at Oh, by the way, this whole process that I just explained to you, even though I took a good uh, amount of time to explain what it is, the step by step process, this entire process probably takes you less than 30 seconds every night. And now you're free just to create your own watch list of all the green and red arrows. You can create a watch list. You can simply click on, as we see here, this green and double click it on and the chart will automatically appear. And you can double click these on on a nightly basis. You create your own watch list. You'll know for the next day where the setups are. If you're trading hourly charts, you'll know for the next hour. If you're trading weekly charts, you'll know for the next week. This entire process takes less than 30 seconds, and then you have the entire uh, rest of the time to, to look and, and go through the, uh, the uh, confirmed stocks or confirmed markets that you're interested in. And then you decide which one you want to take. This is not a system. It's not some guy in a trading room saying, you have to buy this tomorrow. Buy it at this price. But, you know, we don't believe in that. 
that's that's similar to someone, uh, you know, flying an airline uh, a jet and then, uh, you know, not knowing how to how to fly it and then asking someone else, what do I do? Or asking a brain surgeon once you're ready to operate, what do I do? That's the way traders are. They're always asking, so what do I do? What do you think I should trade? And that's a recipe for disaster. If professionals don't do that, if a lawyer doesn't go in court and say, well, what do I do now? What do you suggest I say? Well, why do traders do that? But the entire industry is built off that. It's built off you asking or trying to mimic what someone else is doing. And that's why it's been estimated that upwards of 80% of all traders fail because you're copying somebody else and that does not work. Take it from someone who's been trading for decades. I've tried it and if I tried it 40 years ago and it didn't work, it's not about to work now. All right, so let's go back to the original chart. Let's say GWW actually generated a buy signal, all right? All right, so this was actually at the end of January, just a couple of weeks ago. And look what happened in three days. The stock went up 70 points. Now, is this guaranteed? Absolutely not. But we're showing you how you don't have to go through an entire basket or index of stocks and spend hours and hours doing this. Once you become a course member, once you know the strategy that you like, that you're interested in, you can scan on a nightly basis and know the day before wh which one you're interested in and where you're going to be getting in. And as you can see here, members of the Strategy 4 course could have taken advantage of this. This stock would have been on the scanner and you could have purchased this. Once again, we realize this, it's an expensive stock, a $200 stock. But how you want to enter is up to you. Remember, you're in charge of your own trading. If you wanted to buy the stock, great. If you wanted to buy an option, great. If you wanted to sell some puts, great, but it's up to you how you decide to trade this. We were just sharing with you a high probability uh, setup point, and then we scanned for it, and it was there in front of you in just a matter of moments. Okay, so let me show you now, because not to cherry pick, let me show you what you could have done this past month. Let's say you're a Strategy 4 course member. You understand completely, like the back of your hand, how to uh, generate a Strategy number 4 buy or sell signal. So you know the process. You just don't want to waste two hours of your time looking through thousands of stocks on a nightly basis. So let me show you what you could have scanned for. Every example I'm going to share with you was scannable, was, was uh, able to be applied on our scanner and was identified the night before. Let's start out with buys, okay? Because there were a lot of buys in January and we all know what happened to the market the last couple of weeks. So we'll start out what happened in January. And most of these setups happened in the very beginning of January because that was there. There was all this kind of uh, a lot of uh, buy setups and buy energy going on the first week or two of January. As we look here in the QQQs, that's the ETF for the NASDAQ 100. We see here if you had scanned uh, uh, the very first day of January, you would have seen there was a buy signal set up. OK. And. We all know what happened in January and the QQQs went up 13 points. Now, if you didn't even want to trade the QQQs, you could have used this as a market directional tool. In other words, if the QQQ, which is the ETF for the NASDAQ 100, has a buy setup, well, don't you think that the NASDAQ or the stocks that make up the index are going to be going up? So you could have said, well, listen, if, if the index is going up, well, then I'm going to buy a stock within that. Maybe something else I'm more interested in. How about STT? Well, once again, this stock looks like as if it were going nowhere, but in the first week in January, a buy signal was scanned and generated using strategy number four, and the stock went up 16 points. Okay, now we all know in hindsight how powerful a month January was. So someone looking at this would say, well, yeah, Steve, just about everything went up. Yeah, not about everything, but a lot of good setups. But the beauty is coming into January, no one had any idea there was going to be a tremendous rally. As we see here, this is January, coming into January in BBY. Now, at this point, most people are saying, boy, we've been going straight up since November. Here it is January. Things often change at the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm going to get out of this. But strategy number four, if you would have scanned it that night, this would have been one of the setups in the first week in January, and it went up 10 points. So there's 10 points in your favor you could have taken advantage of in the first two weeks of January. Now, the reason why we showed the entire chart is because just to show you we're not cherry picking, setups are being generated all the time. If you had been a member of the course well in advance, you could have actually seen a buy signal way back here in November, which actually generated 22 points had you taken advantage of that setup. All right, let's look here in triple L, LLL. Once again, the first week in January, two buy signals generated right next to each other. You would have scanned both nights 
in January of the first week and said, well, there's a buy signal here. Maybe you bought it. Well, maybe you didn't. And then the next day, there was another buy signal. When you see two signals of any of our strategies right next to each other, that's a very high probability sign that most likely something's going to happen. It's if the market is coiling, getting ready to explode in some direction. And as we can see, it went up 20 points after that. Now, as we stated in our courses, we teach you how to identify these setups, even if you didn't want to use the scanner. But if you're the type of trader that likes to look through a basket of stocks every night, you don't have enough time to just go one by one looking through them. The scanner, the whole process of the scanner takes place and takes probably about less than 30 seconds. And you have the list right there in front of you. OK. Let's look at LEN. Once again, the beginning of January, a buy signal generated. It went up a little bit, but look, at we have another buy signal generated coming into the second week of January. And then we continue to go even higher. As we look at MAR, we see that the market's been going up. So at this time, most trading rooms, most chat rooms are probably saying, you know, this has uh, gone up way too high. It's a $130 stock. It's meeting some major resistance. Uh, all the institutions are selling. The program we have is saying uh, everything is too overbought. Uh, so you want to, you know, buy low but sell high. So we should be selling here. Well, if you had scanned on a nightly basis the first week of January, this would have come up on your scanners list. It was a buy signal. And 13 points to the upside. Now remember, we're showing you the potential you had to capture. If you were one of these traders that would like to get in and out quickly, you could have taken a quick point and said, thank you, boy, that was a nice one, two day trade. I'm out with a point. Or if you like to get more bang for your buck, you could have said, well, I'll take five, maybe eight points. And if you like to stay in as long as possible, we show you how to do that as well. And you could have captured 13, possibly even more points than that. It's entirely up to you. But see, do you see how we are putting you in charge of your trading? We're not giving you a system telling you where to enter, where to exit, perfect time frame, perfect market. We don't believe in that. You're in charge. That's how you become a consistent trader. That's how I became a consistent trader. And that's what has sustained me going on 41 years now. Now, if you'd not taken that trade, well, guess what? At the end of December, you could have had 20 points to potentially work with because the buy signal was actually generated a couple of weeks in advance of that. Let's look at WTW, okay? The stock went up and starts to roll over. A lot of people think, well, that's it. The stock is you know, too high. It's got to come down all the way down to the bottom. But had you scanned, now this was at the end of January. So this is a little bit different. This was at the very last week in January. You would have scanned this that night, I believe the 29th or 30th, and 11 points to the upside. Obviously, some news came out. Something happened to make this stock jump up like that. Did we know in advance? Absolutely not. The CEO didn't contact us and tell us to buy because there's going to be a big jump in the, in the stock. We had no idea. How did we get long then? Because the stock told us it's right there in front of you. I can't explain it right now because I'd be giving away all the rules. But the stock tells you just about 80 to 90 percent of the time in advance what it wants to do. Once you become a member of any of our stock courses, our, 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 our strategy courses, you'll know all the complete rules. So if you just like to trade one or two stocks, you know, the scanner possibly is not for you. But if you like to look through a multitude of different stocks on a nightly basis to get the best setups that meet your uh, parameters, the scanner is perfect for you. All right. So up until now, we've looked at buys because January was a very strong month up. But what about the last two weeks, right? A lot of people are saying, well, yeah, Steve, that was easy. We went straight up. What about uh, how could we have taken advantage of this uh, going short? Because the market really has fallen out of bed. Well, let me show you if you had had our scanner this last couple of weeks, last month, how you could have done. Remember, the scanner generates both buy and sell signals in any time frame, in any direction. All right. So this was letter F, an inexpensive stock, a $10 stock. As you can see here, this is in the middle to end of January when the market was still going higher. A sell signal was generated and the stock fell down three points. Now we realize it's not an expensive stock and uh, really not a shortable one. Just to share with you that this works in expensive stocks and inexpensive stocks. For example, another inexpensive stock, or I should say another sell signal, not inexpensive, is a $70, $80 stock, generated two sell signals at the end of January. Now, not a lot of uh, momentum to the downside, only three points coming into this last week to the downside. But had you had the scanner, a month ago, had we taken this uh, presentation uh, and, and, and presented it in front of you a month ago, 
but you could have taken advantage of the sell signals that were generated at the end of December and the beginning of January. Do you remember in the beginning of January, all the buy signals that were being set up and generated on the scanner? Well, look at the sell signals that were also generated. That would have given you seven points coming into this last week. Now let's look at PSA. Same thing, we're at the beginning of January when all these other issues, the QQQs and stocks I share with you were going straight up. PSA generated two sell signals. Remember what I said before, if you scan on a nightly basis and, to, and see right next to each other, two signals going in the same direction, that's almost a clue telling you that the stock is getting ready to explode. Is it guaranteed? Absolutely not, but it's a high probability setup so you could have taken advantage of this if you were so inclined to do so. You could have actually shorted the stock. But if you're not uh, an actual uh, person who likes to short uh, equities, you could have purchased puts. But look what happened to the market coming into this last week. 27 points to the downside. So the entire month of January, when other stocks were making you highs, strategy number four identified a short signal that generated 27 points. Potentially, you could have been able to capture to the downside. And if you missed that, don't worry. At the end of January, coming into February, it gave you it gave you another chance to get in again. How about letter O? Okay, this is mid to end of January. All right, when stocks are topping out, well, guess what? We had a sell signal in this $50 stock and coming into this past week, seven points to the downside. Do so you think you could have taken advantage of that prior to the big sell-off? Or how about XLNX? All right, this is the first week in February. This is right when the market's starting to look pretty shaky and a lot of traders are wondering, what do I do? How, how, how do I trade this? Well, we're, we're generating what the market is telling us it wants to do. If you're watching XLNX, NX, you'll see that it was telling you it wanted to go lower. It generated a sell signal and the stock fell nine points coming into this past week. How about AIZ? Well, this was in the beginning of January. Once again, when the market was just starting to take off and have a, a really strong upward move in the beginning of January, AIZ generated multiple sell signals, all right, telling you don't buy this stock. You can buy other stocks, but don't buy this one because I'm telling you I'm going lower. And the stock fell 14 points coming into this past week. If you missed that, don't worry. The market always gives you second chances. And look at the confluence of sell signals that were generated at the end of January, three in a row. So you could have taken advantage of about five to seven more points to the downside if you had missed the first uh, confluence of sell signals. Now this is ALL at the end of January, right when it looked like the market might be starting to get in some trouble. Well, ALL was telling you, you know, you may want to short me. I'm a $90, $100 stock. This would be a great one to short if you bought puts because it quickly fell 13 points. 13 points in, uh, you know, it's like 10% or so of its value in just a couple of weeks. Now let's look at McDonald's, MCD. Here's another one at the very end of January, okay? Let's say you're coming, you're, you don't feel that, that good about the market. You think it may have topped out. You're looking for things to short. All you would have to do is go through the step-by-step -step process I shared with you at the beginning scan and automatically you would have seen at the end of January a sell signal being generated in MCD McDonald's. So if you were so inclined, you could have bought the puts because you're thinking the market's going down. Maybe you wanted to hedge some of your long positions by getting short in some things and 18 points to the downside this past week. This is all available once you know the rules and you can scan through a number of stocks on a nightly basis. Now, this just happened this past week in EXPE, all right? The stock really wasn't participating in this big sell-off. In fact, it really wasn't doing nothing. But you're still looking for ways to take advantage of this downward move because you don't like the market. Let's say you think it's really going to fall out of bed. So you go to the scanner the night before. You see, boy, here's a nice sell signal in EXPE. You could have taken advantage of it right before the close or the next day. And look what happened, okay? 25 points to the downside. Do we have any idea that this stock was going to gap down like this? No, because none of our strategies or methods or tools are predictive. We do not predict how high or how low something will go. Our only job is to listen to the market, find out what it wants to do, and then jump on board, go in the direction it wants to go. That's it. Because the market usually doesn't know how high it's going to go, how low it's going to go. So why? who are we to say, well, I'm only, uh, it's going to stop right here, so I'm going to short you know, into the top or I'm going to buy because this is the bottom. 
We don't know, and the market doesn't know either. It makes up its mind on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. So our job is just to go with it. So you could have taken advantage of this the night before, bought puts, and made a quick 25 points in one day, all with the capability of the scanner. Scanning on a nightly basis, you would have seen this in front of you. Okay, so let's recap before we go into question and answers, and let me share with you a great offer we have for all of you today. Remember, our nightly scanner generates tomorrow's trade signals a day in advance. But please remember, we're not just spitting out buy and sell signals. You are a member of our course. Any strategy that you want to scan, you must first understand exactly what uh, validates a, a proper buy or sell setup. You know, we don't believe in just you know, force feeding you signals. That goes entirely against our philosophy, our concept, because then we'll be no better than anyone else in the industry. We'll just be force feeding you stuff that you don't understand what it's based off of. You really don't believe in it. You just feel, well, if this guy knows what he's doing, I guess I should do the same thing. Once again, that's a recipe for a disaster. The entire industry is based off that. That's why 80% of all traders fail. What the 20% of traders who are succeeding or at least breaking even are doing is they're making their own decisions. They're uh, basing them off a method that have, has shown sound consistency, and they're making their decisions and listening to someone teach them, but then going on their own. That's what we do at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. Once you understand what your signals are, are based off of and where you like to enter, where you like to exit, <coughs> excuse me, then all you have to do is scan on that basis to see where those setups are, okay? We're just providing you a service so that you don't have to do what I did 40 years ago, look through over 100 up to 500 charts on a nightly basis. I mean, I don't even know how I used to do that, but I did when I was on the floor. Okay, so before you ask me questions, I want to ask you one. Do you think this edge of our scanner of learning how to really identify high probability setups and then knowing the night before could have helped your trading this past year? Well, we have a great offer for all of the Saturday attendees today. This is a great discount. We're going to give you our PTS Primo Charting platform for 30 days. We're going to be teaching you how to trade and how to apply the scanner. This is our 30-day trial for only $7, okay? Think of that, $7. I can almost guarantee you that most of you spent more than $7 in commission costs alone just trading yesterday, okay, or this past week. $7 is what you're going to be getting for, for the scanner, but we're not going to just stop there. We're going to throw in a lot more information. Here's what you're going to get with this $7 30-day trial. We're going to give you a strategy. We're going to give you one of our best pullback strategies. This is a pullback strategy, if you're not familiar with it, is a strategy that likes to buy at lower prices and likes to sell or go short at higher prices, okay? So this is great because if you're if you really want to get in as, as low as price as possible, this is a perfect strategy for you. And you're going to learn all the rules. Remember, we're not just force feeding you signals and saying this is what you get. You're going to learn the entire rules to the strategy, all the different variables, and you can decide how you want to trade it. This is one of the most consistent pullback strategies. It's strategy number one. Now, you're also going to get two entry techniques. We call these steps. Step stands for short term entry points. And what it is, is many of our students often tell us, say, Steve, I have a strategy or method that works okay, but many times I get in too late or I get in too early and, and my entry is what's messing me up. So whatever technique you're thinking of, you can apply steps, which is a proprietary techniques, two proprietary entry techniques, and they will fine tune your entry, which we feel is the most highly probability uh, uh, entry point for you to succeed in terms of consistency on your trading method. This is included in the 30-day trial but we're not stopping there obviously we're going to throw in the scanner all right i want to show you something a lot of people always say this and they say well steve okay i get the scanner but you know many times like i saw in that uh, exp news events come out and it's too late or i don't know or, or uh, i'm not sure what's going on because news you know gets in the way of everything well oftentimes it may you know i'm not saying it doesn't but many times our methods work in sync with the news prior to the announcement let me show you something that just happened this last week all right. Yahoo Finance reported that Twitter stock rocketed more than 20 percent after the company reported first ever net profit. OK, so the, the news rocketed Twitter stock price by more than 23 points in early trading on Thursday. OK, it came after the social media company reported a net profit for the very first time and returned to revenue growth. So good news. Right. This is the way most traders trade. They say, well, gosh, I went to that chat room 
And they, everyone says, boy, it's now time to buy Twitter. Okay, maybe it is. We don't know. But this is the way most people trade. You wait for someone uh, or something, such as a news announcement, some company news, some fundamental news, economic news about the company to come out to validate that you should buy it. Sound familiar? Once again, you're relying on something to tell you what to do. Why not rely on what the stock is telling you what to do? Because a couple of days prior to that, if you had punched up the scanning process, you would have seen that there was a buy signal generated in Twitter prior to that announcement. And in two days, you would have been able to capture upwards of 10 points. So this is the beauty of our scanner. It can oftentimes tell you in advance of a major news announcement, and you'll be in sync because you understand how the strategy works. Now, uh, I know a lot of you are saying, well, Steve, this is great, but I just you know, trade other markets. I don't really trade stocks, or maybe I have just minimal time for trading stocks. I like to trade other markets. Well, it does not matter. Our strategies can be applied to any market, any time frame, any direction. So you can use the scanner for any market, any time frame, any direction. For example, let's say you like to trade Australia, or I should say the currency pairs, this is the euro dollar, excuse me, and let's say you're an investor, all right? Here's a weekly chart of the euro dollar going back to November 2017, where everyone thought that maybe it was curling over. If you had scanned the night before, you would have seen that, or at the end of the week, you would have seen that at the end of this week in November, a buy signal was generated using strategy number four. Well, all you had to do was take advantage of that because the currency pair went up 900 pips coming into this week in February. That's $9,000 per unit, all right? Once again, we're not telling you that you would have stayed in that long, but it's up to you. You're in charge of your own trading. We teach you ways to stay in as long as possible. We teach you ways to trade in and out and get out quickly and get back in. It's entirely up to you. Let's say you're an e-mini trader. Here's an hourly chart of the e-mini going back to this past week, okay? Uh, this is uh, February 7th, February 8th. On an hourly time frame, you could have scanned and seen that at the end of this hour, a sell signal was generated. Now, most likely, if you just stick with the e-mini, you could have seen this for yourself because you understand what generates a signal. But you could have also scanned for this, and we all know what the market did, okay? It's over 112 points to the downside in one day or over $5,500 per contract. Let's say you're a Bitcoin trader, okay? Here's the Bitcoin in the end of January. All right, now the Bitcoin was having some trouble. Let's say you weren't, uh, you were thinking about maybe getting into it. A lot of people were saying, this is just a nice little sell-off. You get trying to buy. Well, if you're a uh, $7 uh, 30-day uh, trial member, you could have scanned the Bitcoin and seen that there was a sell signal being generated. So where all your friends were saying, you got to buy this thing, you got to get back in, it's cheap now, you would have said, no, according to the rules I learned, you actually should be selling Bitcoin. And we all know what happened this past week coming into uh, the uh, first week of February. So this is the beauty of all of our methods and of our scanning. You can do it on any market, any time frame. But we're not stopping there. On this 30-day 30, 30, 30 trial, we're giving you our enhanced buy-sell line. So what is this if you're not familiar with it? Well, what the enhanced buy-sell line does is it shows different categories, different features in which to know whether you should be buying or selling. You see, this isn't a strategy or a system. It just tells you what side of the fence to be on. For example, once you apply one of our features here for the buy-sell line, it colors the back of the screen. This is the fluid feature. Now, what does this mean? Okay, it's blue and then it's red. Well, if you have a blue background, that means you're in the buy zone. So this is just telling you whenever price is in the blue background, you're in the buy zone. So you don't want to be shorty. And whenever price is in the red area, you're in the sell zone. That's when it's okay to short or that's when it's okay to be out of the market. Now, it also tells you the slope. If you have a strong upward slope, that's telling you that this is a very uh, uh, highly probable uh, area for going long because you have momentum, you have strength to the upside. And this can work to the downside, all right? And Fossil, we see here that at this point, we crossed into the orange-reddish background. So what's this telling us? Well, it's telling us that we should have been out of the stock because we're now in the sell zone, okay? Now, someone would say, but how can we be in the sell zone? We've already come down so much. Well, wouldn't you have liked to have exited this stock and then maybe you look for shorts all the way down. You shouldn't buy anything until the background when price gets into the buy zone or blue background. And look at the strong downward slope. This is telling you where the best setups are because there's a lot of momentum to the downside. You're going to get this feature included so you can color the back of your screen and know whether you're in the buy zone or the sell zone. This is a great tool that I've often said, I've given webinars on it, that if I were stranded on a desert island, 
and I could only use one trading tool, it would be the buy sell line. <clears throat> but we're offering more. We're, we're uh, giving you 90 of the most popular technical indicators around. So if you like to experiment with different, uh, different indicators, well, we have them all for you one click away. Now we realize we have a technical bias to our platform. That's okay. If you were not here to tell anyone how to trade or how not to trade. So if you like to look at fundamental news, well, guess what? You're going to get free Bloomberg TV. We have a media page. All you have to do is click on the media tab and you'll see a page here that comes up with live Bloomberg TV. Everything is being announced, all the economic indicators, fundamental news, you have interviews, uh, videos. You can watch this live on your screen while you're also looking at the charts. And if for any time you have trouble loading up a chart, getting a, a, a platform uh, you know, uh, with the data there, doing the scan, we have personalized tech support where most of the issues are resolved within a matter of moments. Someone will contact you. This is all going to be yours for $7 for 30 days. And we really feel so strongly that after 30 days, you'll want to come on and be a full member of our PTS Primo charts. I believe the price after 30 days goes up to $94 or $97. I'm not sure. Pro Trader Strategies handles all that. The best thing is you're not locked in. If for some reason it's not your cup of tea, we totally understand. There's no obligation to continue after 30 days. There's nothing you have to call up and, and get out. You're... Uh, trial just uh, simply expires, okay? So there's no obligation to stay on and to be a full member. Here's how to take advantage of this great $7.30 day trial. As you can see, Pro Trader Strategies, uh, they're my sister site. They handle all the uh, platform issues and all the tech support and all the discounts. Uh, you would simply call them at 310-598-6677. Email them at tradingaprotraderstrategies.com or just go to the link at the very bottom. Now, that's not a live link, but if you go to the chat box on the far right-hand corner, they have posted a live link to the platform. So it's that simple. All you have to do is simply click on that link in the chat box. It'll take you to the sign-up page, and you'll be up and running today for $7 for 30 days, and you can decide after that whether you want to be a full member and uh, and get a course, a full course, another course, or just uh, get the uh, – other things that are involved with that. I'm going to leave all this information up here. I want to thank you for holding off on any questions. I see that we have some uh, questions here, and I'll leave this information on the screen. So if you want to copy down the numbers or copy down the link, uh, can you put on a momentum indicator like stochastic? Uh, sure, you can. You can put, like I said, we have 90 over 90 of the most basic and popular technical indicators in the platform as well. A lot of traders like to look at volume, even though volume is not required in any of our um, in any of our uh, methods. If you want to look at volume, that's fine. Remember, we're not here to tell you how to trade. We're here showing you high probability setups that have stood the test of time. So you could, sure, volume and uh, momentum are, are there. Uh, uh, also, another one says, but it was a gap trade, so you would not have gotten on that one at least uh, at one, two, three. Well, remember, Reg. That's determining how I think you're talking about EXP E where it gapped down to the to the bottom. Remember, that's if you waited for the next day. You could have gotten in that day. Let's say you did the scan maybe five minutes before the close. A lot of our traders will wait for five minutes before the close. They'll run a full scan and they'll see the setups. Not much is going to change. You know, our, our techniques and methods are not that fine tuned where it, it, they, they, everything is measured just off one tick and, and the whole uh, course can go out the window if something trades the wrong way for one tick. If it's a minute or two before the close or before you know uh, you can enter an order uh, and you see a setup, most likely it's going to continue for the, the remainder of the, the close and you could have entered the order the day before. Remember, we have multitude of ways in which to enter. You could have purchased puts. You could have you know, waited for the overnight session. It's up to you. So uh, sure, if you wanted to wait for the next day, you may have missed a gap trade, but you don't have to. You're in charge of your trading, all right? If you want to trade intraday, if you want to trade in the last five minutes, it's entirely up to you, okay? Um, how many signals are losers? Well, I'm sure there are losers. There are a lot, but remember, because of the way you trade depends on whether you're, or you're, the trade's going to be a loser or not. Because... Since we only give you high probability setups, let's say the stock only went up a, a point and a half and then went straight down. OK, it was a buy signal. Well, if you are an aggressive trader and you think it's going to go up 10 points, sure, that was a loss. But let's say you're a conservative trader and 
the minute it got up to a certain point, well, we teach you how to move your stop up based off of, uh, you know, proprietary techniques, you would have moved your stop up and broken even. All right. Let's say you're even more conservative trader where you would have sold half your position. We tell you where to do that and then moved your stop up. Well, you actually would have had a winner. So it all depends on how you trade. Remember, we're not a statistical company. Five people can trade the same signal and come up with entirely different results. Somebody can have a complete loss. Someone else can make that trade into a winning uh, trade. So it all depends on what you want. This is where we say this is what makes you a consistent trader. You have to trade the way that makes you feel comfortable. If you like to trade conservatively, most likely a certain setup would not have lost you any money. If you like to trade aggressively, most likely a trade setup that didn't work out would have lost you money. It all depends on how you approach it. You're in charge of your trading, not us. Okay, We're just teaching you ways in which you can learn and be in charge of your destiny in terms of trading. Uh, did you get a sell signal on Nike or was it a bit like a blizzard of sales last week? Reg, you know what? I, this is not a live platform, so I can't share with you. Uh, but once again, take the seven dollar. Yeah, I'm sure if you have seven dollars, you can find out where all the sell signals were generated this past week. OK. Um, are higher price stocks one hundred dollars plus more predictive in the scanner than ten dollar stocks? That's a good question, Phil. It doesn't mean that they're more predictive. Uh, many times, it's just my opinion, there's no statistics to prove that, but there's a lot more volatility and a lot more movement in higher price stocks because of the very nature that there's a lot of movement because they're, they're, they're higher in, in value. Whereas a, a smaller a price stock, you know, $10 stock, uh, $8 stock, doesn't have that much uh, uh, movement back and forth, uh, volatility. So our methods require there to be a certain amount of movement. So it doesn't mean that they're any uh, more consistent. It just means that probably they'll generate more setups. Uh, whether they're going to be uh, more consistent than smaller price, uh, there's nothing to prove uh, for or against that. But there will be more setups because of the movement. Just picture the market or whatever stock you're trading as a river, okay? And let's say you want to get into the river. Which type of river uh, would you rather get into? One that's hardly moving like a pond? And you just kind of sit there and go, boy, I'm not going anywhere. Or one that has a nice current. You probably take the one that has a nice current. You get in your inner tube and it would take you down. Well, that's the way it is with higher price stocks. OK. Um, question. What about intraday trading or is this for swing or long term trading only? No, you can do it for intraday trading. You saw that I showed a, 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 an hourly chart on the E-mini. I use this for five minute charts on the E-mini. Uh, it doesn't matter. We have a lot of uh, students that intraday currency pair. Uh, 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 setup. So they're intraday traders for the currency pairs, Australian dollar, Euro dollar, uh, uh, and even intraday NASDAQ uh, stock. So it doesn't matter uh, wherever you see a setup in any time frame in any direction. Yes, uh, they said, do they work for any time frame? Yes. As I stated, most of my trading is now because of my schedule and because I'm not able to really look and study as much. Most of my trading is intraday and I use these same techniques for intraday trading. OK. Uh, once again, people are asking about intraday trading. The, the, the last thing I want to mention is that, you know, uh, you are in no way obligated. Some people are saying, do I have to stay in? No, you are in no way obligated to stay in after 30 days. You know, we, we are proud to say that we've been running this promotion for the last few months and most of our traders stay in after 30 days because they, they, they love it so much and they see the simplicity. These are all things that I've accumulated in 40 years that you now have instantly at uh, one click away rather than, you know, uh, having to, to check your work. You know where a strategy one setup is generated. You'll know exactly how it's generated. You don't have to configure the, the parameters for the indicators. It's already done right there for you. It's just one click away. Now, we don't, once again, simply want you to take signals blindly without having any idea why. What we want you to do with our platform is to learn the process, learn the, uh, the actual uh, process behind the strategy, what generates a valid buy or sell signal. And then once you think a signal has been generated, then click on the tab and then see if there was an up or down arrow. If there's an up or down arrow going in the corresponding direction that you thought, that means, guess what? You're right. All right. You 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 now know how to properly identify a setup. Ultimately, most of our traders don't need the up and down arrows because they know how to see one. I can just look at a chart and I know where there's a setup automatically. I don't not I do not need up and down arrows to tell me we want to get each and every one of you at that point. That's why we say this is an educational platform. 
so you can spot automatically and we share with you the up and down signals just for educational purposes to check your work, okay? Uh, you can do this on weekly signals. The whole thing is you scan. People are saying, can I scan weekly? Yes. You know, where you go to the scanner where it says day, you simply change it to wherever time frame. You can look at an hourly. You can look at uh, weekly. You can look at monthly. Makes sense. That's how simple this is. Okay. For $7, I mean, you're getting so much information here that's taken me decades to accumulate. I think most of you can spare $7. Trust me, if you went out for lunch this afternoon at a fast food restaurant, it probably cost you more than $7 just to eat alone. So it's a great, great offer. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, something that's going to free up a lot of your time. And if you have any questions concerning the discount or any questions concerning the platform, feel free to call ProTrader Strategies. They have trading consultants manning the phones. They'd be happy to, to answer any questions and no obligation. But you're just in good faith. We're not offering you something for $500 or even $1,000 at saying this is a great discount. We're, we're trying to really get you in the door to show you our sincerity and that in good faith, we're really trying to teach you. So we think $7 is a fair enough price for everyone to get involved, okay? As we conclude, I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your Saturday morning. I hope you got something out of this. And most especially, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine at the new PTS Primo Charting Platform and for all of you taking advantage of that great trial offer we have. Thank you so much for attending today. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.